welcome back to the Sonya Lene channel where you will be encouraged, entertained, and a little tickled. Now before we get started with the video, you can show your love by smashing that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already because it's totally free. Alright guys, today is Married Life Monday and I am so excited. And you guys have been requesting, okay? And requesting, and requesting that my husband sit in on Married Life Monday. So today, Tall, Dark, and Handsome is here, boo. <laughs> Say hey to the people. They just been asking for you to sit in on Married Life Does your husband want to sit in on the Married Life Monday? Why don't you guys do Married Life Monday together one day? I'm going to do a video explaining to you guys why I do Married Life Monday by myself. But he's here today, guys. Y'all ask for him. He here. Okay, what y'all ask for, y'all get. All right? All right. But anyway, today we are talking about submission. So this is the perfect time <laughs> for him to be here because there is no way we can have a one-sided conversation about this particular subject. Okay? This is not a viewer subject today. This is just... A subject that we decided to talk about because it's all over social media like everybody talking about it so ever since Fantasia did her video and her and her husband did their video and there have been so many different posts about um, you know women submitting to their husbands one lady posted about how she was in Bible study and they were always they were talking about how women should submit to their husbands and obey their husbands but nobody talks about the other side of it like where do we stand as far as being equals so today i have um i'm, I'm just gonna ask kevin a few questions and then and we're just gonna have a conversation period okay <laughs> all right so when you think of the word submit what comes to mind well, naturally, when I think of the word submit, it's sort of like of a surrender to. Mm -hmm. uh, now, that does not necessarily isolate it to a person. You know, it could be to a thing or, uh, you know, a deity, a religion, whatever, something like that. Uh, uh, but the actual definition if we want to go by that is accept or yield to a superior force or to the authority or will of another person uh, so that you know basically what I just said in regards to uh, yielding to you know that kind of thing uh, yeah so that, that's what submission is in the literal sense mm-hmm so basically submission and obedience is kind of like has the same definition no obedience is to do what i say and submission submission is to sur surrender to something greater than yourself mm -hmm. so why do you think that it's always re relative to women being the minority of the whole submission type of situation like why is it that everyone says women or wives submit to your husbands yeah, um, <laughs> well you can look at that two ways too because <laughs> if we if we're talking about the natural order of things then yeah um, um, in the sense of you know, women's or, or in the sense of women submitting to the leadership of their household. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's it's more so geared towards women because uh, women has all women have always been a target, mm -hmm. um, especially black women. Um, even it, since since we since we're basing this off of you know, uh, you mentioned in Bible study when the, the lady or somebody was saying... Yeah, that, she yeah. said that they were basically saying why she should submit to their husbands, regardless of where the, you know, whatever type of yeah, man you marry, see, he is the head of your household. Right, okay, so here, here's the problem with that. Um, 
even even in the Bible days, women uh, and it, this this can explain a whole lot of other stuff that are that's geared towards women when it comes to biblical stuff. Uh, e- even in the Bible days, women were not allowed to uh, do anything basically except be with a man. Mm-hmm. Um, so submitting uh, was a form of slavery for lack of a better word. Yeah. Um, so, and then ever since, you know, from, from since before any of us were born up until this point, it's been a, it's been a male dominant world. Uh, and so anything they can use to dominate a woman, that's what they're going to use. Okay. All right. So people use the Bible to say, that this is law. Like women should just be seen and not heard. We should be bearing babies, you know what I'm saying? Cooking, cleaning, and having babies and doing what our husbands tell us to do. Now people use the Bible to, you know, to basically justify that. Um, today women are fighting for their rights. Today women are doing things that men do. Um there are a lot of things that women are doing to say, listen, either we're going to be partners or we're going to be nothing. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think, I think there, there are certain roles that uh, men and women play in the lives of everybody. And it's just, the thing is, if, if it was meant for a man to do what a woman could do, mm-hmm. the man would be the woman. If it was meant for a woman, be careful, Kevin. <laughs> if, if, Keep going though, but if, be careful. If it was that. meant for women to be men, there would be no need for the man. Right, I agree with that. You know, but so, so your question, your question, to answer your question, um, I just I, I feel like, uh, yeah, there there are certain things that um, women and men. Sh- are 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 naturally able to do. Right. This has nothing to do with what you're doing around the house. Right. Like it has this, nothing to do with this is this ability. is ability. Yeah. It has everything to do with what we were created to yeah. do. Yeah. Got it. So like there, I can't take that away from you. Mm-hmm. You know, and you can't be a man. So it's the stuff a man a man can do, stuff a woman can do. Mm-hmm. The the submission comes to this the submission comes in in regards to that aspect. I can't. I, I I literally cannot tell you um, how to have a baby. Right. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, th- part of, part of submission is is actually realizing that look, I I ain't nothing I can do about that. Mm-hmm. You know. So in in that in that particular area, you 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 are the dominant person in in that circumstance for lack of a better word okay but here's what i think and jump in all right whenever you feel like it okay i feel that and this is just my perspective on it um i've seen women who have been in marriages who have sacrificed their dreams and Everything that they wanted to do, once they got married, they started having babies, they stayed home to take care of the kids while their husbands pursued their dreams. And some were successful, some weren't, okay? But women make that sacrifice based on who should be in charge or who should make the final decision in a marriage. And it's not fair. I don't believe it's fair because I believe that we are individuals before we get married and we should still have our individuality when we do get married. Now, I believe that there is a head of household and I do believe that my husband is the head of the household. Now, it just depends on who you choose. Now, if you choose a person that is not capable of making good decisions for your family, it's your fault. That's your fault. But I believe that the man is the head of the household. Now, what you need to do is make sure that your man is capable of being head of household before you marry him. So here's here's the thing. Um, Number one, 
me personally, I believe that the man is the head of the household. And because of that, he sets the tone for his house. Mm -hmm. uh, so anything you want done or you want to see happen, happening around, around your home at any given moment, you should set that example as the head of the household. Um, and if you don't do that, you can't be mad because nobody else is doing it. You, right. you know, uh, you're the example. Set the example. Be the example. Lead by example. Uh, That's what's up. Um, <clears throat> and then, and then, uh, after that, you have to give your 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 household something to submit to. Um, you can't just. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. You can't just expect them to submit because your title is head of household. Right. You actually have to play that role of head of head of household if you want to be respected as the head of household. That's so true. I'm I'm getting closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I just feel like we got to make sure that we choose the right men. And you do get to choose, ladies. So we get to choose who we want to spend the rest of our lives with, who we want to turn that particular power over to. And I hate to use the word power, but just for be for lack of a better word, I'm going to use that word. Um, who you want to turn that power over to. Because I like, now there are some women out here who are all for this whole women empowerment um, I can do the same thing as a man. If a man can do it, I can do it and all of that. I, and, and I'm here for those women, but I personally, me, Sonia Lene, I'm the type of woman who loves to be my husband's wife. I like doing lady things. I like doing girl things. I got three daughters. We like to do that. My husband, he goes out, he's a wonderful, wonderful provider he goes out, he makes money, he takes care of our family. He also does not mind me pursuing my dreams, hence what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, he, he don't mind me pursuing my dreams because we support each other. Now, when it comes down, when I, when I, when I think of submission and head of household, when it comes down to something that a decision has to be made and we can't make it together, I need to be able to know that I could trust this dude to make the right decision for both of us. And on the flip side, um, <clears throat> if I'm not sure about it, I should be confident within myself to even trust her to make that decision. And me and that goes for, you know, y'all too. Be careful who you pick <laughs> to be your partner in life because if you can't trust your partner to make the right decision when you can't make the decision, then you you that's chose not the your wrong partner. partner. That's and then not, uh, that, that's not a partner. No, it's not a partner. No. Um so that again, that submission thing is not is not necessarily a form of control. It's it's a form of who has the better better judgment for whatever the situation is. Uh and a lot of times that is the guy. Uh because here's the bottom line is men and women did not think the same. Uh, they may think uh, a lot, a lot of the same stuff, but they don't think the same way. The way men do stuff is totally different from the way women do stuff. And so, a lot of times, um, and just to be honest, the women think more emotionally than men do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, their uh, decision making can be based off their emotion. And uh, and a lot of times, it's good. Most of the time, it's not the best. Right. Um, so, n naturally, men will take the role of being the logical thinkers hmm. uh, on the spot. Now, the way men are today is a different story. <laughs> totally, <laughs> so, uh, say, totally different, okay? <laughs> Uh, oh, these young men today need to take some. They need to read a book or something. Well, the, it's, it's, the 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 art the art of the the I say the art, but um, the wisdom of being a man has not been taught in ages. Mm, that's so true. Um, so 
that that wisdom has not been passed down adequately for the men today to even think about being a man of a household. True. So when we talk about submission and all of that, you can't have to think help but to think about gender roles. Mm-hmm. And in our household, we just pick a role, like whatever we're good at, that's what we do. And that's my, what I'm good at, that's my job. What he's good at, that's his job, okay? Mm-hmm. He was raised a certain way, though, and there are some things I just don't do because he automatically takes that role. And I think gender roles are important uh, because I believe in order. Mm-hmm. I believe that everybody needs to know that, okay, this is what you do around here to make everything work. And so you do your part. It's not necessarily a, um, I'm the man, so I don't do this and all that type of stuff. Because I cook, he cooks. Right. I clean, he cleans. I take care of the kids, he take care of the kids. These are our kids. And that's one of the reasons why we make sure that we under we, we communicate and we understand each other. I believe in gender roles. I believe that we should, well, not necessarily gender roles, but, but, but it's just some stuff that, it's that just, you right. do better, you know, women do better than men. Come on, y'all. Yeah. And, and, and naturally, so men, unless he's a chef, he ain't gonna cook as much as a woman anyway. Yeah, naturally, I mean, so, naturally, right. women, we, we're the cooks. <clears throat> we're the people who like order in our kitchen cabinets and, yeah, you know, and, stuff like that. That's our thing. It's our thing. Now, very seldom, now I'm not saying there aren't men out there like that, but very seldom do you find a man who takes that up, who takes up that role. And there's nothing wrong with it. And it's nothing wrong oh. with it, but it's, it's like I said, it's, it's rare. It's very, very seldom. Like, I know a lot of men who cook and their wives don't cook at all. Mm-hmm. Whatever you choose to do in your house, the problem is we'll say something, the internet will take it and run with it, mm-hmm. and then everybody take it as if we're talking about it like it's everybody has to do it. Right. This is what we do in our house. Do what we take yours. roles. We we do what we're supposed to do so that we can just run smooth, so the house can run smoothly, so we won't have to worry about things. Our kids have roles, okay? Mm-hmm. Everybody has a, a, a role to play. In building a successful family. And let me interject this. Like, just because you got married doesn't mean you don't have to do whatever you was doing before you got married. If you was cooking for yourself before you got married, you didn't lose that ability when you got right. married. Right. <laughs> if you was washing your own clothes, uh, and now don't get me wrong, I don't need my wife to cook for me. I don't need my wife to wash my clothes. He can cook. But. He can wash his own clothes. But a lot of times, I don't have time to. And here's where uh, the submission come in. You have, when I say you have to have something to submit to, there's got to be a greater, uh, uh, a greater, a bigger picture. Mm-hmm. You know, like, so if I'm out providing for the family or I'm out, you know, uh, doing, working, doing whatever I'm doing uh, for my family, mm-hmm. then home still needs to be taken care of. Right. That's where your partner comes in, and that's not and that's not necessarily submitting to me. It's submitting to the the well being of our family. Right, because if you got to go out and work and then come home and cook and clean and wash clothes and you know get the kids ready for school and do all of that, then you might as well be single. Right. You know, if I got to do everything on my own, I might as well be by myself. That's the great thing about being married. It's the great thing about having a partner. You get help. Now, there are single mothers out here who doing it all. You working. And single fathers. Right. Today, there are so many single fathers. I have never met so many single fathers in my life. Right. Like, in the last few years, I have met so many single fathers. And they're out here doing it all. They're dropping the kids off at daycare. They're going to work. They're coming home. They're cooking dinner. They're doing everything. Mm -hmm. But that's because they are single and they have to do it. When you get married or when you're in a committed relationship, 
You should not have to do everything. Right. And if you find yourself doing everything, I'm going to need you to rethink your partnership. Right. right. Because marriage is a partnership. We signed a contract. Yeah, you didn't, you did, beyond the contract, you, did get, you didn't get married to be alone. Mm-hmm. You know, so. And there's another part of submission that I want to talk about, and that is the intimacy. Okay. A lot of men think that because women are supposed to submit to them, they're supposed to basically take their bodies whenever they get ready. Yeah. And that's so not cool. Mm -mm. I've met so many women who, whose husband told them, and one in my family in particular that I've talked to recently, her husband told her, if you don't give it to me when I want it, I get to go out and get it any way I, any way I want to. Yes, no. And she was like, I'm not understanding. Now, I'm not saying, now, y'all have, have heard me say this plenty of times. We cannot use our bodies like they are dog biscuits. And then our man have to beg for it and, you know... They're not dogs. We can't treat our men like dogs. But at the same time, you can't treat your wife like a sex slave. Right. It's not fair. Right. And especially if, okay, let's just keep it 100. When you go to work, you're not dealing with the kids. Right. You're not dealing with, you know, all of the things that come with your kids, with housework and all of that. So you're not doing all that. You're going to work. That. To, in, in my opinion, because I've been a stay-at-home mom and I've been a working mom, work is a lot easier. Yeah, going out and it, going to work that, is a lot easier. That, that depends. Depends on your job. Yeah, it depends on your job. Um, well, for me, it was a lot easier than dealing with this all day. And I'm not saying use spending time with the kids and all that as an excuse not to have sex. Uh, because I feel like if your relationship is good, you're going to want each other anyway. Regardless, no matter what's going on. Not granted, both of you get tired enough to say no from time to time. You know what I'm saying? We're married. I've said no. He said no. I'm tired. Let's go to sleep. We'll, we'll get it in in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been times where both of us have declined. <laughs> but we, had, we have definitely, it's not like, if you don't give it to me, I'm going to go and get yeah, it from somewhere not, else and you got to deal world. with it. You're not finna die tonight just because you didn't get no sex. It's, no. Why should we have to worry whether our husbands are going to leave us or cheat on us because we are saying no from time to time? Our bodies are different. It's, it's just a lot that comes into a woman denying a man sex. Now, we've already had this conversation and we can definitely have it again. Um, there are different reasons why women deny a man sex, but you don't get to deny him sex all the time. But when it comes to this submission thing, you don't just get to take it from me. Right. You ain't be, got no business mutual, raping your wife. There's got to be a mutual res respect. Um, when, when it comes to uh, submission and sex and stuff, it gets it's, out of hand. It's, 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 it's a, you like, to me, any man in their right mind don't want to have sex with a woman that don't want to have, don't sex, have sex with you. Right. Like, not if you're trying to enjoy it. Right. I'm, I mean, but I don't um, know. unless unless you just sick in the head like that and just trying to get one off. Yeah. That and that ain't, ain't cool. cool. I mean, I got daughters. Right. You got one time. <laughs> okay. Back to the I'm submission. I'm just saying. <laughs> off topic <laughs> no but for real for real i can say that i appreciate my husband so much because i don't have to fight to be an individual i don't have to fight him off of me because he ain't trying to rape me because he feel like he owns my body my body belongs to me and i willfully give it to him because he deserves it and he's my husband and I'm his wife, and I'm going to always take care of my duties, okay? But at the end of the day, you don't own me. Right. 
and I don't own you. Right. We are married. We are one. We are responsible for one another. So we represent one another. Mm -hmm. So I don't want him going out to do anything that is going to embarrass me. And he don't want me to go out and do nothing that's going to embarrass him. So I feel like that's a form of submission. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not it's, going to go again, out and embarrass each other again, because we are responsible for one another. That's for the greater be, uh, well-being of, of our, our family. family. Exactly. Same thing with our kids. Our kids are to submit <laughs> and obey. <laughs> and you, we obey each other. Mm. The word obey is not a bad word. Submission is not a bad word. You just have to think outside the box. You cannot... Or in, in the Act box. like you... Right. You cannot just act like you own somebody. It's not fair for these men who are out here just taking over these women's lives. These women have given up their dreams. They've given up their visions. They want to go back to work. I was just... It was a, a show on TV. I think it was that Love and Marriage Huntsville mm -hmm. where the woman wanted to get back into real estate, but her husband was like really trying to get her to just stay at home and be... Um, I mean, and he was saying everything he possibly could to belittle her enough to, to get her to just stay at home and take care of their kids. Because he didn't want her out working. But she was very passionate about it. And I feel like if I got to choose between you and my dreams, we were never meant to be together. Right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. We just really wanted to kind of tap into that because it's, and it's not it. It's a lot more that goes yeah, it's, into it's, it. It's a lot that goes into it. And it's a lot of breaking it down that but, we can do. But here's here's here the bottom line is, um, and this is this is what I tell everybody. Uh, bottom line is treat your wife like you want to be treated. Yeah. You just and this is the golden rule. You learned it in school, you know, and, and this is just just it's not it's not just for your friends. Mm -hmm. It works in your marriage too. You know, Treat others like you want to be treated. If you don't want nobody disrespecting you, don't disrespect nobody. If you don't want nobody cussing you out, don't cuss nobody out. Right. It's, it's, it's simple. And for you Christians out there, the Bible tells you you to love your wife Christ. as Christ love loved the church. And there's a lot that goes into that, but we ain't going to get into all of that right now. Y'all let us know if y'all want us to, you know, talk about that because we can come back and we can do a show on loving your spouse as Christ as Christ loved the church. We can definitely do that. But right now, we're not going to get into it because this video is already long. But I want to thank Daddy for coming and sitting in on the video. And y'all asked and asked, asked and he came and he delivered. Okay? Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss a video. Don't forget sharing is caring, so share this video with everybody. And until next time, you say a prayer for us, and we'll do the same for you. Bye. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> do that again. I did it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>